This is going to be great. We're very thankful for our team. We're very thankful for all the volunteers to help put all of this together. And uh, of course, our production team, our worship team, just everybody who's serving today to help make this a wonderful day. I want to say Merry Christmas. Let's give a hand for everybody, huh? And uh, we are now going to hear from our Legacy Children's Ministry. And so let's give a warm welcome to our Legacy Children's Ministry. I, Jonathan, son of Heziel, questioned the shepherds and others at Bethlehem in regards to the strange circumstances reported to have occurred there and report to this court. Jonathan to the masters of Israel, servants to the true God, in obedience to your order for the synagogue at Bethlehem, I met with, met with two men who said they were shepherds and were watching their flocks near Bethlehem. They told me that while attending to their sheep, the night being cold and chilly, some of them had made fires to warm themselves and some of them had laid down and were asleep, but they were awakened by those who were keeping watch with their questions. What does all this mean? We go around light it is. Glory. It is light as day. Oh, but it's only the third watch. But they knew it was not daylight, for it was only the third watch. All at once, the air seemed to be filled with human voices saying, Glory, glory. Their shoutings would rise up in the heavens, and men would sink down in mellow strains, and roll along at the foot of the mountains, and die away in the most soft and musical manner they have ever heard.
I asked them how they felt, if they were not afraid. They said at first they were, but after a while it seemed to calm their spirits and so fill their hearts with love and tranquility that they felt more like giving thanks than anything else. They said it was around the whole city and some of the people were almost scared to death. Some said the world was on fire. Some said the gods were coming down to destroy them. Others said a star had fallen until Melker, the high priest, came out shouting and clapping his hands, seeming to be frantic with joy. <laughs>